Take advantage of these deals now. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. You guys know Black Friday, Cyber Monday, this is the time of year that a lot of things go on big time sales. A lot of people are talking about all these things that they're trying to sell you and stuff like that. And you know, they may be good products. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm not selling you anything. Um, what I wanna do is give you ideas um, and some areas that you should look into maybe to increase your preparedness. But first off, you could please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell for all. Smash that thumbs up, share the videos, comment below. That'd be greatly appreciated. So what am I talking about? We guys, we know all these big sales going on. Okay, so normally when we put out videos, we talk about general preparedness and you know, stockpiling food, water, a lot of essential supplies, medical gear, stuff like that. Um, but <clears throat> this is the time of year, um, especially if you're budget limited, to really pick up some of those more advanced prepping things. You know, those things that cost a lot more than going down to the store and buying a can of beans or a can of, or a bag of beans, bag of rice, can of canned goods, stuff like that. That's just average everyday prepping. Right now, specifically this time of year, a lot of things are on sale. So look into some of the bigger items. This may be the time when you want to really increase your preparedness by going that extra mile and get some of the bigger stuff. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, for example, and these are just examples, a solar setup, a wind power setup, setup um, generators, uh, some of the if you can find them on good sales, uh, advanced medical capabilities, like maybe some of those big, like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollar, um, like EMT bags or such, um, as well as um, defensive tools and accessories for them. Um, seed holders, uh, the seeds themselves, the tools themselves, and all the accoutrements, the parts, the optics, all that stuff. Big time sales, anywhere from, you know, say 20 to 50% off on a lot of stuff. You can do, add a lot of capability and save a lot of money. Uh, another thing, uh, I always think about force multipliers being you know, the tactical mindset. Uh, things like plates, maybe you can find them on sale. Um, going along the lines of optics. Optics in a lot of situations is where you wanna put your money, especially if you're looking into a precision right or precision defensive tool or a longer range one on um, the optics are very important usually you want to spend at least as much money on the optic as you did on the actual uh, tool itself if not double <laughs> how you, much you spend on the tool on the optic that's for long range precision stuff but also think about things like night vision and thermal optics great time to get them. Save yourself hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars right now. Now, I'm not going to really throw on websites out there. You guys, you can do searches and stuff and find. Uh, maybe also things like uh, ballistic helmets. Um, stuff like that. Maybe it is stuff for your vehicle to, for your vehicle to become more uh, um, efficient and um, capable. That's the word I'm looking for. Maybe get some really good mud tires Maybe think about some lockers, locking differentials for allowing you to go four-wheeling off-road places that may you may need to get into if you're bugging out. What about the, uh, the vehicle tent campers that go on tops of vehicles? Maybe that big bumper that you want, one of those big, huge, uh, you know, like an armored bumper um, with all the stuff on it to protect the front of your truck and that will help you smash through roadblocks if you ever need, are in that situation. Stuff like that. Maybe it's a camper shell. Maybe it is a trailer. Maybe it's, there's lots of different things. So look at your preps and what are those items that you've, you always put off. We all have the items we always put off because of the expense. Um, for me, it's night vision. I've been trying to save night for night vision for years and I have a couple hundred bucks saved up. It is what it is. I probably just need to drop it and figure on never getting it. I don't know. Um, so there's some capabilities that, um, yes, you, you may never be able to afford. But look around. What are those items that you really not just want, but would really help you be in a better place? 
It may be greenhouses. It may be stuff for gardening. Um, lots of different items out there. There are, you know, guys running and they show those electric bikes all the time. You know, maybe maybe that's maybe that's good. When a company approached me about sending me one and doing reviews on it and stuff like that, I'm still on the fence about it. Um, I don't really like doing, you know, reviews and selling stuff. But um, with that said, maybe dirt bikes. Dirt bikes would be great in an SHTF scenario because um, of their maneuverability through small places, even through like if the road is blocked or something like that, you can get around places. So motorcycles were a good capability. Um, I don't think things like horses are going to be on Black Friday sales or Cyber Monday sales, but um, there's a lot out there. Oh, some other things. Communications is very important. So what about the ham radio setup you may have been looking at? GMRS. Those are two of my favorite, but you can also get away with some situations with FRS or CB radios, um, things like that. So look at maybe things like I said, talk about increasing the capability of your vehicle, um, the capability of your, your bugging out capability. Also, what in your uh, vehicles do you need that you might be able to get deals on? Maybe get deals on those uh, Daytrex rations or you know the ration bars, the Grizzly, the SOS bars. Um, advanced medical capabilities, um, recovery devices, tools, high lift jacks for your vehicle, winches, all those kind of things. Check them out. Now is the season to maybe take that leap into something more substantial. I'm not really in the situation to be doing that, unfortunately. I'm not going to increase my preparedness substantially. Uh, maybe it's a good chainsaw. That's a good one. Maybe you can get a good steel or a uh, Husky. Those are two good brands. I have a really nice steel chainsaw that is a workhorse. It's a MS362, I think it is. It's a big saw, 25 inch bar. Um, or maybe maybe get some extra bars, different size bars for your saw you already have, as well as chains. You know, there's so many different things. Maybe clothing. Maybe get that uh, really good quality layering system. Maybe get those good quality boots. Um, jackets, um, foul weather gear, it's pouring down rain out here, that's why I'm sitting here um, under the cover of the porch. Um, I don't know everything, your capabilities, so you need to decide, you need to look at those kind of things, but this is the time to maybe think about taking it to the next level, instead of just food and water and all the basics covered. If you got those covered, well first, actually caveat, I would say cover the basics first, make sure you got the basics. But like I said, if you're in a situation, advanced capabilities. What other advanced capabilities are there? Um, well, there are, if you want to go the route of like getting a suppressor, maybe it's a time for that. Um, maybe it is a time to uh, acquire more tools and or better quality tools. Maybe some of those components, those higher end components that will, um, the quality stuff that you need, not just necessarily that you want, um, as well as good quality gear. Um, you don't need cry precision anything, JPC or anything like that. Um, but setting yourself up properly is very important. Uh, maybe it is the time to go get some training. Although training, I don't think necessarily have like Black Friday deals on. Um, so maybe that's not really a good one for this conversation. But what do you need? What have you been talking about getting? Throw in the comments and also help each other out. I know YouTube won't allow links in the comment section, but what you can do is maybe use the uh, um, the company's name. Like say, you know a really good deal on something that somebody's looking for, that somebody talked about in the comments, you can steer them in the right direction, help them to save the most amount of money. So, I mean, this is a community here. So get in there and talk. Talk about what you want, what you, maybe even what you're getting. Um, and then, you know, help each other out. Talk to each other. It's a good conversation to have. Like I said, we're a community, we need to work together um, and build tribe. Maybe it's time to hook up somebody else with something that's a really good thing for them. Giving is always good. Feels good and it's just a good thing to do. So think about these things. Um, look for advanced capabilities. Maybe, here's another good one, maybe it's a drone. Maybe it's a really good quality drone for reconnaissance and security around your property or your area. I don't know what it is for you. 
if I talk about it in the comments section, I appreciate that and it would be really good just to be able to talk with everybody and point each other in the right direction for deals. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.